So it's, there's a, as we said, there's a 30 person design and development team. And um, we work with a, there's a head designer, um, five and three other designers that work together to kind of come up with the overall concept. But it's definitely, uh, you know, we have some input here and we work with them um, almost on a daily basis or a bi-weekly basis um, to kind of understand. They have a very European um, touch to them. And then we bring the North American touch and that sort of, you know, as we said, one of the times the CEO said to me, um, you know, we argue back and forth about what the design's going to be like. We'll say, no, 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 we want it this way. And they go, no, 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 we want it that way. And it becomes this whole argument and everybody's super invested in it. And he said, you know what, that argument, so that, that clash becomes, makes that, that um, you know, I think that makes a super magical um, process to the. the. The other thing we do is we, well, you know, a lot of uh, designers think, and, and one of my beliefs is, you can't really only push to the market. You have to pull from the market. So we do a lot of, um, in the end of the day, our collection is put together by retailers, salesmen, uh, designers, and our staff and, our, and basically our consumers uh, sitting together and making a decision on do we want to do this style or not. Because that way we're taking information from the market of what the market needs as opposed to saying this is what you need. I think there's a little bit of arrogance in the in generally in the fashion industry is this is what a the woman, direction the direction a woman needs to wear as opposed to hearing from women and men this is what I want to wear this is what I think I need that's in my missing, wardrobe and what I'm missing from my wardrobe next year you know and and we really spend a lot of time and energy trying to find that that right place and and it's difficult it, it's 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 definitely a process. We have a very long, unique process of like five or six different meetings till we get our final product together. And again, it's Ayala and my job to put the collection together. But we have right now, currently in our collection, 600 different Ooh. styles and colors. That's a lot of different styles and colors. And with our two new brands, it's even growing beyond that. So we have these two new brands that we just launched that are adding a different dimension to them. And one is going to be called Lusso. It's going to be um, uh, a beautifully constructed. Um, one of the things we haven't been able to do in AO um, technologically um, is produce a ballerina flat. And one of the things is that with with every shoe that we bring to the market, and again, what makes us unique as opposed to some of the other companies is not only do we do top of production checks, but we actually make sure where it goes through a long process to make sure every shoe fits before it gets on the market. Um, and having studied shoe design and the engineering that goes behind a shoe is, you know, pretty incredible. It's almost on par, if you think about it, to an engineering of a house because you have to put, you know, stacking of heel heights and everything else and measuring it all and putting it together. So to get a ballerina flat to fit and to fit comfortably, as we said, has to fit comfortably is extremely neat and, and hard to do. Um, and, I, and I think most of the ballerina flats that are on the market today don't fit very well because I've tried them on <laughs> um, <laughs> for my own research. And, but we have wanted to bring one out to the market for a long time. And so we're bringing out a brand called Lusso. Which is Italian for luxury. And it is luxury for your feet. And it's allowing us to, um, it allowed us to work with another factory that has that technology and that we felt fit correctly. And... Um, I, as a mom, wore a tie, I have a six-month-old and a three-year-old. And, you know, getting in and out of the house is not easy with two, two children. So lacing up a full shoe is not always the easiest thing. And so we wanted something that we could slip on and slip off fairly quickly and run in and out of the house and still have that comfort. And um, I wore a test of these for about three months. And it was, you know, the most comfortable shoe that I had on and was super easy to slide in and out of and run in and out of the house. So we're bringing this beautifully crafted um, new brand called Lusso. And then um, on top of that, we're bringing out the Daphna brand, which produced those shoes for the, um, the movies, but also is uh, a very, one of the things we found in the market that was missing was um, rain boots that looked fashionable. And a lot of them are super clunky. And I like to, when I dress or when my friends dress, they like to look a little sleeker. 
Um, and so we're bringing out a very sleek looking rain boots um, with, um, you know, a comfort based insole. Um, so not, so like, not only yeah. will they be sleeker looking, but they'll also be, be more, more comfortable, comfortable than, than what's on the market. Um, and everything, you know, and those rain boots will be produced in Israel as well. So we're bringing out two really great lines that we're very excited about.